So this is uh, on Vogue, which is French, old French for good valley or beautiful valley. And um, about uh, five years ago, we consulted with our national communities. Do you think it's necessary for us as a monastery without walls to have a, a physical international center? Yes. Because we've, we've, we've never had a, a, a center like this before. We've had a, a house with a small community at uh, my monastery in London for a number of years. And the response uh, from the na our national communities was very positive. Yes, they liked the idea. You mean national meaning English or? No, the national coordinators from 67 countries. Oh, 67 countries. Yeah. 67 countries. So then we joined uh, forces with our French community because they were already looking for a center for themselves. And the other reason was that uh, property values in France are very low compared with the rest of, to the rest of Europe. Anyway. <laughs> Actually, uh, Jean Vanier, who is, whose, whose funeral is at 9 o'clock this evening, if you want to watch it, uh, if you want to watch it, it's, uh, it's being yeah. So I asked Jean Vanier, who has been a friend of our community for many years, <laughs> if he thought it would be a good idea to have an international center, he said yes. And I said, uh, do you think it's good to have it in France? He said, yes. And then he said, but make sure it's beautiful. So then we, we were led to Bonbo. And, and when we arrived, we, we fell in love. With, with everything there. It has a very strong spirit of peace and, and presence. And then we discovered that the reason was because there was a, a Benedictine monastery founded here in 1119. And uh, it was the contemplative life was lived there until 1792, the French Revolution. And then the house passed into private hands. Until we, until we met it, and it was waiting for us. Uh, however. <laughs> It, it needed a lot of work, a lot of renovation. Uh, you, you, you rented it or did you buy it? No, no, we no. bought it. You bought it. <coughs> but it needed a lot of renovation. <coughs> also, as a community, we had no money. And, uh, but, as holy people will tell you, 
Uh, don't worry about the money. The money will come. <laughs> But you can't tell that to your benefactors. <laughs> But it is true. So, anyway, this is the this is this was the original. It was on this site that the original. Monastery was, was built. And this piece here <coughs> is part of the original cloister. <coughs> And it, oh, it extended out this way. And, and the church came down here, like that. And this little chapel. Uh, is what it was built from the stones of the church. And this is this is what we are. Um, this is what we use as our our chapel and meditation. Okay. So this house is is is. Uh, Um, for the resident community. And uh, there, there's space there for 13, for 16 people altogether. And, some, and then this is are the stables which will become the retreat center. This is the barn which will become the conference center. And this is all fantasy. <laughs> all fantasy. All fantasy. <laughs> So, so we have no money for this yet. <laughs> But the idea will be that we will have little cells, each with a little garden, uh, for long-term uh, retreatants, or maybe for some residents as well. Ah, okay. So this will give you, I think this is quite a short one. <coughs> so this is my room here, <laughs> which is the smallest bedroom in Bombo. I have to say that in case people think that I moved into this big house. But this is another room here I have as well. Uh, So this is this is the uh, this this is what it looked like uh, a few months about a year ago, and this is what it looks like today. And there's there's a statue of Mary here. Okay. This this is the uh, conference center. Um, this was the barn, and. This will have a capacity for 200. So for major speakers, for concerts, for a large meditation group. Uh, for, for body body work, for yoga. So we can use this for, for many purposes. Well, This is uh, it's in process at the moment, but this is what uh, this is what it will look like. We hope inside, eventually. And this is uh, this is another. This is the back view. This is the back view of the stables, which is the retreat center. And this is the work that's being carried on now. This we hope will be well. It's always difficult to say when things will be ready, but uh, we hope this will be ready by Easter next year. Then we can really start having retreats. So there'll be 23 rooms. 
uh, with a capacity of up to about 14 million. And this was uh, holy, the Holy Week retreat. We had uh, this uh, this Easter when we, we moved in on the day before Palm Sunday, and we started the retreat on Sunday. So uh, this is where we were living in very simple conditions. And this is on this is our chapel and meditation room. So we um, this is a icon, beautiful icon we were given. This is where we celebrate mass. And we're going to keep have the Blessed Sacrament and an icon chapel uh, in the main building a few 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 steps from, from this. But some people sit in chairs, some sit on benches, and some can sit on the floor. And there you see you were asking about how you time the meditation. So we time the meditation with that. These are the books. Of the office. So it's, it's getting warmer there now, but we, sometimes we have to have this. Ah, so this is, uh, these are two oblates uh, who were leading the Good Friday uh, uh, way of the cross. There's the house, this is the chapel, this is the lake. There's a river that flows through here. And um, we, we set up the, the, uh, the cross, and we nailed a little cross to each of these trees along this path. So we have the way of the cross uh, here. And this is the, the cloister uh, where we had the veneration of the cross on Good Friday afternoon. And this was our, uh, this is Holy Saturday, um, which we lit, we, we, lit the, we lit the fire uh, down the valley down here somewhere, and then processed up like this. Mm. This is some of the community uh, preparing for the liturgy, and um, these, these are two extent, uh, French members of our extended communities. These are three oblates. Mm -hmm. Oblates? Oblates. Oblates, what do you mean by that? Omanda. Um, Omanda. Um, those who are committed to this community. Yes. Yes. Okay. And oh, this, was, this was Holy Saturday. So we, I, I was looking forward to this moment for a long time. And it, then we were told uh, there was going to be a terrible storm. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. half an hour before we started. And we had to decide, should we, should we do it or not? So we said, yes, we'll, we'll try. And, and then the sky cleared. Just over Bombo. And then this, this uh, and then on Easter Sunday morning, this is about 6.30, I think, we joined, we, we, we <coughs> not everybody got up at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock, but no, 5.30, I think, uh, but the, the ones who got up, we came to watch the, the rising sun. Mm -hmm. So here is the, here's the house, here's the chapel, mm -hmm. that's the house, uh, this is the uh, the retreat centers. Oh, so they're not. Uh, this is the this is the short version of the public. They made this good. So this is uh, this is where Bonbo is. It's near Poitiers. Where's Poitiers? Oh, they don't put the word Poitiers. Poitiers is uh, is there. It's about an hour and a half from Paris. And it's it's a it's well located. Uh, it's one hour from London by by trip by plane. This is Brexit here. 
<laughs> Brexit ever happens. <laughs> and um, so it's a, it's a it's a good set, it's a good location really for for our international centre. But we also want it to be a French. Oh, sorry, I'm not giving you a chance to translate. Yeah. We want it to be sort of grounded in French. Uh, and we were we were very uh, fortunate to, to 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 be led to Poitiers because the Archbishop of Poitiers is a very uh, open, very welcoming. And the um, we're 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 only about ten kilometers away from Ligugé, which is the oldest monastery in Europe. And in the Salem congregation, but very open and very welcoming to us. Really, really, really blessed. Well, I, I, I'm afraid we're afraid. Um, this is the very short version. Okay, but maybe it's long enough. I think I think they sent they sent you the wrong version. I don't, I don't question. But anyway, that gives you a little feel feel for it. And so we have a we will have a small resident community. Uh, at the moment, uh, I am I am the only monk. But it will be a, a Benedictine community. Um, and uh, every morning we meet to uh, read the rule together. Which, which well, you know, it, which can take uh, an hour, really, sometimes. Wow. Yeah. But the the the, the residents uh, love reading the rule and thinking about the rule in in the context of their lives, of our common life. And it uh, you know some some of the young people who come who are new uh, have no knowledge of the rule and uh, little, sometimes little knowledge of the faith. So it's, it's teaching us uh, a lot about how to, how to meet them, how to help them, because uh, they are really hungry. But they don't have many tools or much experience about how to satisfy their hunger. And I think uh, young, uh, young people of that generation uh, find it very difficult to uh, understand discipline and commitment. But it is very beautiful to see them growing and learning. And you know, when I, when I first started uh, in Manasa, when I succeeded Father John, and uh, was responsible for the, for the monastery. I was very concerned about, uh, you know, recruiting members. And I, I think I, I changed my, my attitude over the years. Of course, I, I would love to see the, the community grow as a stable Benedictine community. I would love, you know, for a monastic uh, community to form there. 
네, 그래서 저는 우리 소 전통의 다른 공동체가 형성되기를 바랍니다. With uh, oblates so lay people. 네, 봉헌자들과 그 평신도들이 함께하는 그런 공동 제가 생각하고 있습니다. But, so I, I can't predict what is going to happen. 그러나 저는 어떤 일, 무엇이 일어날지, 어떤 일이 벌어질지를 예측. So I, so I feel it's I feel it is meant to be and uh, that we are following the spirit but uh, I don't I can't say confidently w w what the time scale what the you know what the timeline is or or what the later what the final form will be. 네, but I'm totally convinced that uh, the rule, and the spirit of Benedict, is uh, is the guide and is the is the the path. So please, please uh, keep it in your prayer and. Um, Remember us. And uh, if if when you when come and and uh, visit and stay whenever you like, and your presence, uh, the will always be welcome. And you know, I think it's always the will always be good for us uh, as a Benedictine community there to have some some uh, monastics. Uh, who can share their faith and their wisdom and experience, you know, with the with the young people? So thank you.